Hi everyone, 28 years of trading. The only thing that counts is your risk management. You can be the best traders in the world. If your size are too big, your risk your, and you are over leveraged, you will blow up. One of the Nobel prizes in 1998, long-term capital management blow up because of over leverage. It is always over leverage. If we want to be a professional trader, we need to have rock solid money management. So in this video, I'm going to try to show you some concept of risk management, some that you can track yourself with Excel. If you are serious about trading, investing and improving your processes, your results, let's go, let's go deep now. So one thing that is super important, everybody, when you trade, especially if you want to improve your odds as a day trader, is to monitor what? The numbers of trades that you've done for the day, okay? Numbers of trades that you've done for the day. So this is all the trades. Some platforms gives you those matrix, but what you need to remember is what you guys can track with an Excel spreadsheet. So for instance here, there was four trades, two winner, two losers, Look your win ratio and your loss ratio, 50-50. But look here now. If you look at your average winning trade, you make $82. If you look at your average losing trade, you make $16. It's cash flow. Do you make more money than you lose money? So it is critical that you monitor yourself. Some have, like I said, the automation like this, where you can see, okay, you started the morning dipping and uh, losing $44. Then you came back making... $120. Same here. Here, PNL history, you dip, boom, you come back here, boom. Same in. Mean? So you can see it throughout the day in terms of time. But most important is very simple stuff that I use with a spreadsheet that everybody can use at a very simple level. Look. If we go here and we clear here, you go here and you take a simple spreadsheet. So this is an example. I put a couple of trades to explain the spirit of what you should be doing. Very simple. So let's say you have key management rule, your maximum daily loss of $500, your maximum drawdown of $1,500 on the overall account. Maximum drawdown is like if I start with a $50,000 account, I set a parameter or a risk management parameter that at 48.5K, you stop me to trade. The other one is daily. If I lose $500 daily, stop, I'm done. So I'm done here. This is a risk management on a daily basis. And this is a risk management on the account level. Then you go every day and very simple. You can do a very simple spreadsheet like this. How many trades are done like here? Day one, 10 trade, six winner, four losers, winning ratio 60%, losing ratio 40%, and then profitable or loser. Because you can have, and here's another example that I wanted to show you, six trades, two winners, four losers, but still make $894 because you hold your runners very nicely from zone A support to zone B resistance extremely well, and you are very patient in your trade. And you write it. See, you do like a trading journal here. You write, kept runner for, from my long-term time frame an indicator support to resistance zone and it finally broke. Or at the top on the first one, A, did put stop and target, didn't look at the screen all the day, all day long, was enjoyable. Put also your emotion, it was effortless, it was enjoyable. Those are keywords on how you felt, you know, your emotions, you know. I didn't look at the trade every day, put stop loss, put target, and then just went on using the automation of a tower, you know, you know, or another cancel all, or a stop limit, uh, um, a stop, a limit orders. So you bracket your orders, you, know, you enter your order here, let's say at uh, 3,600 on the uh, futures, you say, okay, get me out at 3,590, 10 point stop loss. So that's your stop loss. And then you look at your, uh, support a resistance zone and you see 3625. So 3625, boom, get me out. And so you put your uh, sell limit here, right? 
So you have a sell limit here, you have a stop loss here. You don't even need, at that point, you don't even need to watch the screen. Everything is automated. That's the beauty of the technology that is available to us as traders now, is everything is automated. You have your stop loss in place, you have your uh, sell limit in place, and that's it. Go enjoy, go play golf, you know, or go enjoy, do, take care of your business, take care of your house, take care of other things, and you don't need to over trade all day long. Your stop loss is uh, uh, limited, is well defined from the entry. Then from the entry, your sell limit is de defined based on your resistance zone, right? Assuming you have good tools and indicators you can trust, everybody and support here you can trust. You structure the trade to a point from your entry here to your exit here, you don't want to be emotional. So it's very important because at the end of the day, right, your life expect expectancy as a trader is going to look like this. And that's going to be probably the, the, the calculator here. Yeah. And that's going to be the formula. So let me see if I can make it bigger for everybody. I'm trying, I'm trying. Yeah. And uh, let's make it for uh, here. So what will be your life expectancy? Well, your expectancy as a trader is calculated with your percentage win times the average win in terms of dollar win per trade minus the average loss times the average loss in the raw terms. Because to me, the most important is not my win ratio or my loss ratio is this. No matter what, it does not matter if you have a great indicator, the best indicator of the world. It does not matter if you are the best trader in the world. You want to form, you want to track like this every day. Look, we post on the Discord here, like yesterday, for instance, posted here, Three trades here for the day, three winners, 100% win ratio, right? So that's easy. I didn't have to fight back and forth on small sizes with MES and MES. Track, track, track your average win, track your average losing trade. The same way I showed you on this one on the test account here, here, that I showed you four trades, two winners, two losers, that's a 50% win, but the most important is right there. What's your average losing trade compared to your average winning trade? That's cash flow. That's what will keep you in the game. That's what will keep you winning. No matter how good your tools are, no matter how great of a trader I is, if you have very subpar money management and you are not doing this for every trade, every day as a trading journal and write your thought process, your emotional process like I did here, to give you an example, then you are doomed. And I hope this video uh, was helpful because guys, this is this is the holy grail right there. Risk management first, charts and indicators second, strategy third. You know, when you have all of those three, then you have a higher chance as a trader to be a profitable trader, a more consistent trader, and also uh, going through less stress through your trading journey, okay? Hopefully that was helpful. Love you all, everybody. And I will see you in the next video.